So guys, the right wrist angle at the top of the swing, the PGA Tour average is 51 degrees. What are your numbers? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you a much more efficient and effective way, a much more simple way to strike a golf ball. We're also gonna take a look at what Tommy Fleetwood says he does in the swing, when in actual fact, he does the complete opposite of what he's talking about. And at times, how dangerous that can be for a lot of us out there listening to these great players. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, give the video a like, it helps us reach more people. Let's get stuck into a remarkable video here and all get on the path to playing some better golf. So people, right, before we have a look at some unbelievable information on that right wrist angle, and an easier way to swing, let's have a listen to what Tommy Fleetwood says that he does, right? And I'm gonna show you that he does the complete opposite. And then the first move from the downswing will then be my left hip goes straight back, straight down that thing. I don't want it to sway. So I want it to go straight back, which then sets the club and from there, turn and hit and pass the ball. So Tommy Fleetwood and Sergio Garcia are my two favorite players. And Tommy Fleetwood is just a legend and uh, everyone loves him. And it's just been he's so good for the game, right? It's just been so good watching him play great golf recently. Now, what did he just say? He said he doesn't want to sway his hips from the top of the swing. And his first move is his left hip goes straight behind him. All right, well, have a look at this. No one sways their hips just about as much as what Tommy does. Now, the two average there is four to six inches. This is one of the dangers of listening to what great players, what they tell us they're doing. And this has been happening for years and years. Now, have a look at that for a lateral shift. Now, this move from the top of the swing, we're seeing with so many of the world's great ball strikers. Now, this video went viral, Tommy's, right? It's been all over social media. I've been getting emails and WhatsApp about, you know, should I be doing this move as well? But when we look really at the best ball strikers in the world, like currently the best ball strikers, the lateral shift they have is absolutely remarkable. Gives you something to push off, gives you compression. This is the stuff that we show people on worldclassgolf.com because it, it's the stuff that helps people, right? Now, we look at Scotty Sheffield, you know, he's probably, Tita Green, probably the best ball striker in the world. Now, have a look at that for a lateral shift. All right, so I mean, you've got to make sure you're following the right stuff. As we see, amateur golfers, around 99% of amateur golfers do not have enough lateral shift, and after the Tommy Fleetwood video, you know, they're all trying to turn their left hip straight behind them, but from the top of the swing, have a look on the left, he actually moves towards the ball. So he's not doing what he says he's doing, and this is a really, really dangerous area for many of us out there. So guys, have a look at this. If you take 500 PGA Tour players and there's an average of movement of where they are at impact, and you're nowhere near it, then you're wasting your time, right? So looking at amateurs at impact, they're nowhere near getting the amount of lateral shift required. And with videos like Tommy's, it's probably making it worse. You've got to get closer to the averages of move. If you're not hitting the ball well, get inside or closer to these corridors. The closer you get, the better you hit. Now, I really want to show you the second part of this video where we really look at an easier way to swing as we look at the right wrist, that trial wrist extension, that angle, and setting your back swing up that just makes it so much easier. Guys, send your swing through to me from your mobile phone. You have unlimited personal contact with me and we'll get you on the path to playing some better golf. Let's have a look at this back swing position that makes golf so much easier. So guys, when we're looking at the best ball strikers in the world, they have a couple of moves in their swing that they're just really too difficult for most of us to do, myself included. So we're gonna look at an easier way to do this. Now, when we look at the left of the screen here, and we see Tommy Fleetwood, he doesn't have a huge angle in that wrist, but when you look at the right side of the screen, he does in transition, and that move is just so hard to do. So if you can see this trial wrist, See how he picks it up in angle? Can you see that? Right, now for normal golfers, and as I said, myself included, that that's just way too difficult. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this position at the top of the backswing already. And we can sort of see that it's just a much easier way to do it, right? You can see that the shaft and the left arm lines up in one line here. And this right wrist is a speed accumulator. It helps flatten the shaft, will help with your compression and a number of different things in your swing, right? It's just absolutely huge. So what we're looking at is position for the masses of the people out there, where we sort of see here, you know, you can get the right arm already resting on the original shaft plane. And this here, guys, this is easier, right? Because it just comes out, the, the shaft 
the, the, the lead arm is on the shoulder plane and it just brings the club down really behind the hand so much easier. Now, unfortunately, you know, what we're seeing with a lot of the club players out there, and there's millions of them doing it, they open up the face coming down. And for just for so many people, you know, we're going to look at a style here that really makes golf easier. So we're going to have a look at how we can measure this wrist, right? We'll have a look at that first, and then a drill for your backswing, and then something that you can feel through the ball to complement that. That's amazing, isn't it? The PGA zone here. What I like to do with this, I set this up between 45 to 60 degrees. I like to exaggerate this move. When you get this trail wrist inside the PGA zone, the average, the corridor, see the angle in that wrist, okay? This angle you hold on to coming down, right? And what you can do is when you hit a shot, you can play it back to see how good you were. And you're just working with facts, pure facts. And this improves everybody. Let's have a look at this. Uh, we get up to the top of the swing, get it in the zone. When we hold that angle, it comes down, the club is behind the hands, club head's great, left wrist is great. When I just come out of that position just a little bit, that's your feel, all right? This thing is hack motion. I'm practicing non-stop with this thing. I put it on both wrists. They've got the trail wrist, the right wrist now, and we've got the angles. And that average of 50, 51 degrees at the top, the tour players, I mean, you'll see certain grips change it slightly, but guys, for the, a lot of the club players, we want to bring this club, you want to get shaft lean. This is the key to get your shaft lean. This is it, right? This is the angle in your swing that you need. It doesn't make sense. It's not mechanical. I mean, the swing is a technical thing, right? It's got technique in it. If we just stand there trying to feel it and visualize it, I mean, this is helping, this is helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people all around the world. It's something that I just promote so much because the feedback that I get with my online lessons that are using this and we have a look at the numbers, sharing information, helping dedicated golfers. This is about, our channel is about dedicated golfers, not about the person just clicks from video to video. We are here to help dedicated golfers. Worldclassgolf.com has got 1,400 videos on the platform. They're not on YouTube. Swing analyst training. Get Hack Motion, guys, in the description box. Get your discount. It's such a good price. So, people, right, check out this position here. This is gold. You see where that right elbow is resting on the line from both players here. Tommy Fleetwood on the right side of the screen. The club face is in a really strong position. We can all get our club faces into this position. This just makes the downswing so much easier, right? This is part of the deep to shallow swing style that we put together and the feedback has been absolutely overwhelming on world class golf. This is making golf easier. So people, once you get the wrist alignments correct on the way back, what we need then is to see more of this lead arm on the way through. Let's have a look at these two feels, these two moves now combined into one. So let's have a look at picking up your angles first here, presetting the golf club. From this side here, it looks like this. Okay, but we're going to deliberately bow this wrist and then we're going to take it up to the top. And I want you sometimes just to look back here at that wrist, feel that where that lead wrist is, that trail wrist, close your eyes, gather, connect to a sensation, people. This is a place where it's just going to supply so much power and speed and compression through the golf ball at impact. This drill here, getting your wrist alignments and getting your arms connected, the left shoulder down, is the best and most effective way to hit a golf ball for the masses of the people out there. It's just so much easier. Let's have a look at a feel through the through swing now. Something I want you guys to practice. We're gonna see more of this lead arm from this angle, and this is gonna calm down your releases. Once you have this position in a stronger, more effective position, it's gonna make your impact through the ball so much easier. So people, right, let's have a look at a great drill here. Once we set up this really big angle in this trail wrist, which helps all your tilts, your turns, also keep your left arm straighter at the top, what we're gonna do is learn how to move through the ball and calm the release down a little bit and work on some tilts here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold out the left arm just like this. Okay, now we're gonna move through the golf ball and I just want you to get a feeling of really extending here closing up this gap with your knees 
and getting the feeling of the right forearm pointed up. Obviously, it's a little bit of an exaggeration move, but you can see how much this lead arm that we're seeing here. Now, this won't be possible if you fan or open that golf club up. It just won't happen because you'll have to get this move coming back. But this is really is a great drill. Good thing you can do here is preset the club and just bow the wrist down a little bit. Get the wrist bowing down as you preset it to also give you a feeling of where that club head needs to be. All right. Now we're going to do a couple of swings here on the way back. Really exaggerate that angle. Point the hand away from you. Get up to the top. Get a feel for that. And then we're going to get this feeling of releasing with the right hand right under the left through the golf ball. All right, don't have to hit them that hard. Just get a feeling of what you're doing, getting a feel here through mechanics, guys. Use mechanics to help you create feel. Preset, bow the wrist, swing back, release this right arm under, closing up the gap in your knees, and then move through, get a feel of that backswing, and then move through the ball with a more of a passive style release here. And this is just a great way to get the correct bends through the golf ball, calming down your release, moving your body closer to what the great players are doing. That's a great drill to connect to a certain sensation here, connect to a certain feel and sensation to really improve your golf swing.